Are you lazy and rude when you go to the grocery store? Hmm. Hi everybody, this is Deborah, also known as Doobage42. Welcome back to my channel. Please hit the like button uh, while you're thinking about it. And uh, here we go. Oh my goodness. I used to work in grocery, a little disclaimer there. It's been a number of years, but I worked in all aspects of the grocery store from the office to helping management to being like a shift lead to being a cashier to stocking all across the board. There is almost nothing more annoying than a rude shopper. Now let me tell you what I mean by a rude shopper. You've picked up something out of the cold section. Some milk, a pack of meat, you know, whatever, ice cream maybe. And you're walking around and you decide, you know what? I decided I don't want this. I'll just leave it here. Somebody will get it. Don't be an asshole. If that sits out, it's going to go bad. And you might think, well, it doesn't bother me. It's just the store losing money. Look, you're a moron. Not only does the store lose money, but also that is part of what causes prices to go up. Stores operate on a very low profit margin, actually. Um, it's just volume that allows them to make any money. <laughs> Dang, a little thought there. So when you're leaving products out and making them go bad, they have to raise the price to compensate. Now, maybe your one time of leaving the ice cream out didn't bother much of anybody, but you and, you know, a thousand of your friends doing the same thing, prices are going up, baby. Also, if you have to, you don't want it, take it up to the front with you and tell the cashier, I'm sorry, I changed my mind about this. Can you have this put back? You know what? They'll do it. They'll send a bagger, they'll grab a, a lead or a manager and say, hey, could you run this back to cold? Not a problem. If it's a canned good or something, again, don't leave it on the shelf elsewhere. I mean, yes, go back and put it on the own shelf if you can. But you're walking around with your can of garbanzo beans and you get over to the spaghetti sauce and you go, yeah, I don't want garbanzos, I want spaghetti sauce. Put the garbanzos in the spaghetti sauce. You're just making more work for somebody else. While that may be construed as job security, that's just kind of, as friends would say, a dick move um, to do it. It's just rude and lazy. Another thing that actually bothers me more than the canned food in the random place is shopping carts. You get out there to your car, you put your crap in your car, and a lot of you just kind of shove the cart somewhere, get in your car and leave. And you're the one that complains when you pull in that there's, there's, there's shopping carts or buggies as we call them down here, um, all in the parking spaces. We can't find a place to park. That's because of you. Don't be lazy. If you think you don't want to walk that far after you shop, I know I've been there. Park near one of the cart corrals where you can push it in there. It's safe and secure in there and not going to roll out and, you know, hit your car. And it makes it easier for the people that collect those buggies later to take them back in the store. There's an exception to that, though. If you are taking your cart back and you see somebody else, especially someone who looks like they may not get around so well, offer to take theirs, too. Or when you're going into the store. I do that a lot. If I see somebody with a cart and they're about to carry it back somewhere, I'm like, if you're done with that, I can take it. You've saved them a trip. You saved yourself a trip of looking for a buggy. And uh, you may have just made their day because they don't have to go walking around, especially if they have mobility issues. Don't be an asshole. I often say don't drive like an asshole. And I'll link to those videos here. But also, don't shop like one either. Especially in a big store like Walmart that has an enormous parking lot. They have got cart corrals on every aisle. And if you're not close to a cart corral, you're generally close to the door. Push that thing back. If you don't, you are lazy. Well, I've got my kids in the car. Park next to a buggy corral. That way, you load your stuff in the car, load your kids in the car, just walk it over per chink and get in your vehicle and leave. I don't want to hear excuses. I just don't want to see people being lazy. 
I have problems getting around sometime, and you do not see me leaving my cart just in the middle of the lot or parked up on some grass. No. I push it back to where it needs to go because I think before I shop, yes, I will park near a buggy corral. Or if I get lucky and get close to the front, I will walk it back inside. It's not that hard, people. Two things to not be a rude and lazy shopper. Don't pick up stuff from one part of the store, especially the cold sections, and put it in another part of the store. Just leave it there. And two, take care of your shopping cart. That's it. How hard is it to be a decent shopper? Hmm? I've got some more my takes up here about a lot of different subjects. You can subscribe down here if you haven't already. And uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye.